This tutorial will walk you through the steps needed to create an Android APK from a basic source code file. First step is to start Eclipse. It is assumed at this point that you have Eclipse installed and that you've got the Android SDK installed. You will need to download a copy of the basic runtime demo. It's found on the forum under App Creation, Basic Runtime Release, and Runtime Demo.zip. Download that file. and copy it into your Eclipse workspace. Then extract the file. Copy that extracted directory and paste the copy right here. Then rename the directory to the name of the APA, APK you're creating. Go into that directory Go into the source directory, com, and rename the example directory to the name you will be publishing your app under. All lowercase. Then go down a level and rename this to the name of your app. Now go back to Eclipse. Go to File, Import, and then under General, Existing Projects into Workspace. Next, browse for that directory you just created, your workspace. and finish. You'll notice a error message down here. I want you to go to right-click on your project, go to Android Tools, Fix Project Properties. Clear that window. Now, open up your project, open up source, go into your com directory, and double click on autorun.java. You've got to change the package name. Instead of example, Put your company name, dot, the name of your app. And Control-S, save. 
Now go to your manifest file, androidmanifest.xml, double click. Go to the Android Manifest tab. Your screen should look something like this. And then right here, it'll say package equals. You want to change that to the same package name you just put in auto run dot job. Company name dot app name. Control save. Yes. At this point, there should be no red checks along anything here. Next, go into res, values, and double click on strings.xml. Click on the strings.xml tab. And right here where it says app name, put in your app name. Now this will be the name that displays underneath the icon when your app is installed. And it's okay to put spaces in this name. Again, control save. Now let's close some of this down. This constitutes the skeleton of the program we're creating. What's left to do is to add our iCode and our four icons. The XHDPI is 96 by 96. The HDPI is 72 by 72. The MDI is 48 by 48. And the LDPI is 36 by 36. Now let's add the I code. Back to your file explorer. Now here is the bitmap array demo I code that I prepared earlier. I'm going to rename that to program.icode. I'm going to cut it. Go into our bitmap array demo project. Into res. Into raw. And paste the I code. Back to Eclipse. Anytime you change anything outside of Eclipse, you need to go to the project, right click, and press refresh. Now, open the emulator. You should have an emulator created from the first tutorial. I'm going to skip a bit here. Once the emulator is started up, get in, go to your browser, Go to the forum. Go into app creation. Basic runtime released. Click on the basic runtime.apk.
let it download, and then click on it and install. Now we're ready to test. Go back to Eclipse, close, right click on Bitmap Array Demo Project, run as Android application. Then switch back to your emulator and wait. You notice down here in the screen, it'll have a little progress bar. And there you have it. The APK is working. Back to Eclipse. Those are the steps involved in creating a basic APK. I plan on creating two more videos, one describing how to export and sign a basic APK, and then a third video describing how to use data files with an APK. I'll also go into more detail on how the auto run program works. Thanks a lot.